Okay, so on this spreadsheet where we're preparing for success, we've got three sheets down the bottom and you start at the first one. And this is your ACE dashboard. You know, like a dashboard in a car, you've got your speedo, you've got your revs, you've got your fuel, you've got your gauges that give you information. So these are your gauges. And the things that I want you to focus on are attendance, completion, and effort. We want you to ACE these exams. Attendance, completion, and effort are important. <coughs> so you're gonna put in some data about your current gauges. So your current attendance percentage, you're gonna put a percentage in there, maybe it's 75. You're gonna put in a percentage for your homework completion. Every Monday I've asked you to, to do some maths homework, so maybe that's only 65%. Your Google Classroom assignments, you go into your assignments, go to my work, it gives you an overall percentage. You're gonna put um, that percentage in there. And then this last one, self-assess. What? How much effort have you been putting into your learning? You know, honesty call, I'm not sure that many of you are 100, so put in a, what a, a, an estimated percentage is. And you can see that your gauges update. That's what you're looking at. That's where you are at the moment. And if you scroll down, there's another set of gauges. And about we want you to move the needle. We want you to improve uh, those things. So what do you, if your attendance is not 100%, what do you want it to be for the next um, five weeks, four weeks? Your completion, if it's not quite 100%, like what's your goal? Your effort, if it's not quite 100%, what realistically do you want your effort to be? So we've got now a target to aim for. We've, our gauges are all in the green, we're ready to go. So then we go on and we wanna develop some habits to achieve those goals, to do the best that we can um, in these end of year assessments. And I've already put five here for you. And you can see the first one there is to make your bed. And the reps per week, we want you to make your bed five times a week, right? Every morning of a school day, make your bed. And these are some other habits that you can do. Remember, our, our expectation is 30 minutes of study per week, and it's been three times. Maybe you want to boost that up to four times. Maybe you want to do more. Okay. The other ones I've put on here, do dishes, show some gratitude, be, you know, show some thanks to maybe some of your family members of your mates, and maybe 30 minutes of exercise. You can change these. right? If instead of 30 minutes of exercise, you wanted to do... Um, 30 minutes of uh, community service. I don't know, my, 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 maybe it's gonna be a fulfilled run. And Okay, so maybe it's something different. It's a different habit that you want. And I'm gonna suggest just five. If you really wanna add more, I can show you how to do that. And the idea is as we go through the week on Friday, we're gonna check these off. So if you've made your bread, bed, if you've made your bed every day, you tick the box, your progress goes up, and if you've done your five out of five, you've got it, yep, you've done it. If you're your 30 minutes of study, and maybe you haven't done it yet, but do the dishes, you said you were gonna do it once, but you actually did your dishes on Wednesday as well, so you've absolutely smashed it. And then as you go through and you tick these things off, Eventually you get to the end of the week and your gauge is increasing, you're moving your needle and you want to try and get in the green here where you've completed most of what you've set out to do. And if you do that, if you've just be, uh, got into the green there, that's, so that's over 80% of what you set out to do, we get some hand claps, but maybe we're going to go and smash it. We're going to do more than what we expected to do and we get a bit of confetti. Okay, so during the week, every Friday, we check in how are our habits going. We're now going to put together a plan for the week. So we want to build in to, to make sure we achieve those goals. And so we've got a weekly plan here. And I've just put in, for example, that generally you wake up at 7 o'clock. You know, wake up and make your bed. If you do that every day, you're going to achieve that first goal tick. Yep. School is usually from 8 till 3, so that's already blocked out for you. Yep. So the instructions are down below. Add in your weekly routines. So time to bed, meal times, time to school. Now if your meal times, like in my household, they're always at five o'clock, rather than writing you know, tea here five times, well, that takes you a long time. You can highlight all those cells where you have tea or dinner or eat and click this button here, the merge cells. And then that puts it across that whole row. And maybe you're like me and you go to bed at nine o'clock. So um, again, you can merge all these cells and that's bed. And if you really wanted to, you could make those cells um, a different color. 
with the highlight. So just choose a color, maybe bed's going for dinner, maybe uh, dinner is blue. Then you add in your current commitment. So if you've got a part-time job, maybe you work after school on a Wednesday. So that's work there. Again, merge those cells, that's work. Give it a different color. Put in all those other commitments. Sport, when you have trainings, when you have games. Then you're going to find out that you've actually got quite a bit of time where you could do some study. So that's the last one. Block in the time that you'll spend revising or preparing for these exams. Okay, so maybe you might say, well, actually, um, every or Monday and Tuesday at four o'clock, um, I'm going to do some study. And then I'll make that red because that's really important, hey, study. So I'll make that a nice bright color. And then I'll also do it maybe on um, Thursday, Friday as well. So you're building this picture, you're making a plan so that you just need to now implement this plan. When we get down to this bit here, this is a place where you can add in the topics that you want to revise for each of the four big exams. Okay, and we'll talk about that a little bit later.